Hello Cancer, Sun Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So Cancer, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid, so it's either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Cancer currently view this relationship? All right, Cancer, we do have the Three of Swords. We got the Two of Swords. And then we also have the uh, Nine of Swords. You're very, very worried and concerned here. You're very worried and concerned here. With the Three of Swords to Two of Swords, that creates a Five of Swords at play. And the Five of Swords, it does speak of uh, deception. It does speak of uh, betrayal. A lot of you feel, a lot of you feel like this person that you're currently connecting with is doing something behind your back. Now, with these cards that you're getting, okay, um, this is just what you think could be potentially happening, right? That this person is doing something behind your back. In other words, you don't have any sort of concrete evidence to see here and say, I know that this person is doing something behind my back. This is an overall energy of, I think that this person is doing something behind my back. I think something's terribly wrong here, but you don't have any concrete evidence to back up what you basically think is going on is what I'm kind of getting um, off of your overall energy. All right, let's look at your person. How does this person currently view this relationship? Okay, so we have the seven of pentacles. We got the page of pentacles, and then we also have the devil out here. Okay. All right. In regards to how this, in regards to how this person's currently viewing you, in this relationship with you. Before I open my mouth, let me look at the devil really quickly here. Let me look at the devil just to confirm something. Time over the devil. So we have the High Priestess, we have the Ace of Cups, and then we also have the um, Seven of Cups. So you're dealing with this High Priestess over here. Okay, so in regards to how this person's currently viewing you and this relationship um, with you, I will be honest. Um, I'm going to be very honest. With the Ace of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the High Priestess coming out here, that's kind of telling me that there's somebody, there's somebody here that their heart wants. There's somebody here that they feel very safe and secure with. Um, but, because there's a but to all of this, I feel like what's currently holding them back from fully going there with this someone um, that they feel so safe and secure with has a lot to do with you and their relationship with you. But it also has a lot to do with, with the fact that um, this person um, is too damn scared, I would say, to go off and, and, and pursue this individual, mainly because they don't necessarily know what to honestly anticipate and or expect if they were to go off and pursue this person, the ways that they would want to go off and pursue this person. See, with you, um, they know... All that comes with you you are not unpredictable to this individual in any way shape or form this new person on the other hand um, they look at this person as somebody's very like um, very unpredictable to a degree it's like they don't really know like you know what to honestly anticipate and or expect all they do know and that's what they're currently working with by the way all they do know is that on an intuitive level um, they do feel good about them they just, again, still kind of find themselves questioning whether or not it's a good idea for them to even go there with this individual or not is basically what I'm getting, okay? We're going to look a little bit more into the Ace of Cups just to kind of see what else I can get here. But, you know, with you, I mean, like I said, they're familiar with you. They know what to expect from you, um, you know, but with this person, it's like this, this is a whole new human that we're talking about here. So although on an intuitive level, they may feel pretty damn good about this individual, they still kind of have their doubts and reservations, you know? Um, in other words, right now, it kind of looks like this person's trying to figure out like, okay, wait a minute, like, is the grass honestly greener on the other side? Or is it not? Tell me more about the Ace of Cups.
The other three of pentacles, we have... I see. Okay, three of pentacles, lovers, and then we also have the ten of wands. It's kind of hard, though, for this person to really figure out where they want to be. Um, especially because even though on an intuitive level, they feel really good about this new human... They still need more time to really get to know this person, but it's kind of hard for them to get to know this person and build a relationship with this person when you're technically speaking in the picture is basically what I'm getting, okay? Um, tell me more about the devil. We have the Knight of Cups, we got the Tower, we also have the Six of Pentacles, and then we also have the Ten of Swords out here. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk about this one right here. There's also like an overall energy of them. Um, what also makes them feel torn, I'll say it like that. What also makes this person feel torn um, in regards to where they want to be, right? has a lot to do with them also kind of feeling like they're never going to find someone like you ever again. Like they're never going to find somebody who treats them as good as you do um, is, is basically what I'm getting. They're not going to find themselves, you know, somebody who's going to go all out as much as you have went all out for them. Uh, so that's what also kind of causes this person to feel a little torn because it is evident to me um, that you have been really, really good to this person. You have went all out for this person. But it's also evident to me that you guys had your issues along the way. I mean, with the devil to the tower to the ten of swords, y'all have had your issues along the way. Um, but see, here's the thing is that they just, their whole thing is they just don't know if they're going to get that same old treatment that they experienced, you know, with you, with this new human. Like, is this new human going to really go all out for them? Is this new human going to treat them as good as you treated them is this new human going to be as loyal as you were to them you know again even though on an intuitive level they feel good about this person and what they could have with this person as far as like a serious relationship is concerned they still kind of have their doubts and reservations okay and like i said it's like it's hard for this person to really figure out if this person is just as loyal as you are if this person is going to treat them as good as you treat them because again you're kind of like it's like you're 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 in the picture so it's it's hard for this person to really get to know this individual when you're kind of in the picture it's like they can only do so much i would say uh with this new human because you're kind of you know in the picture okay so as far as like you feel like something's up well i mean you're right something's something's up um something is definitely up this person is um entertaining somebody here now i do want to actually look a little bit more into this um ace of cups just to kind of see what else i can get tell me more about this person that this person is connecting with this new person okay <laughs> interesting you know it's crazy right because you feel right like i don't know man like there's just something up about this human i don't know what the hell it is milagros but i just feel like something's something's not fucking right right the person that they're dealing with feels the exact same way which is basically insinuating that you don't know about this person this person doesn't know about you this is turning into a whole fucking telenovela over here um there's an overall energy of this king feeling like ah, like something's just not right i don't know what it is i could be tripping because with the nine of wands, that's kind of telling me that they're trying to rationalize why they feel the way that they feel. So they could very well be telling themselves, now nah, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. It's just my insecurities. It's just my past, you know, relationships that's, that's making me feel like something's up with this one over here. I didn't even get a court card here for this person. So did I get a court card for them? I don't believe that I did. Can you give me a court card for this person to the right of me? Give me a court card. Let me see what we're working with here. <clears throat> okay, so we have the strength card. Ah, okay. See, it's interesting because the we, you know we do have the king of cups out here, and the king of cups, technically speaking, it is a court card. But my my eyes went straight to the uh, strength card. And for those of you who do not know this, the person that's in the strength card is the empress. So. With that being said, you could be dating a single mom, you could be dating a single dad. 
uh, that's definitely a possibility because an empress is typically somebody who has a child and or children not all the time um, but typically they do um, if not this could just be an individual who would love to have children one day that's a possibility um, or they have like a lot of experiences uh, experience when it comes down to kids sorry is what I meant to say <laughs> anyways back to this this empress over here Back to this Empress. There's a huge possibility that you and this Empress could have had a very on and off uh, relationship with one another. Because I am definitely getting that. And that could very well be how they met this individual that they're currently connecting with during the time where the two of you were not together. Is kind of what I'm getting. Because I'm getting an on and off situation going on here uh, between you and them. I feel like you're in love with this person, though. I feel like you're really, really in love with this person. And you know what? At the bottom of the deck for you, by the way, we have the Emperor. True pair situation here between you and this person. You guys could have kids together. You could be a single mom and a single dad as well. They could be a single mom or a single dad. Um, but anyways, back to, back to this Empress. Um... You know what I think it you know what I think is going on here? Uh, let's just go there. Mm. I feel like I'm just gonna be a straight shooter about this. I feel like this king has and uh, uh, don't don't be mad at me by what I'm about to say. We're talking about this empress and why they're doing what they're doing so that way everybody has a rough idea, okay? Don't be mad at me, okay? Um I feel like this king possesses something that you don't necessarily have right and that could be anything that could be fucking money that could be anything okay um but i feel like this king has something that you clearly don't got and here's the thing is that you clearly got something that this king don't got you know what i mean so then there's that whatever it is that you lack is influencing them to do what they're currently doing now so that could be anything let's just say for example like you're not giving them you know the attention you know that they truly want and desire so this this one over here is going out their way to give them their complete and undivided attention there's something that you lack that they have and that's something that can honestly be anything again i just kind of use that as an example um but see that's the thing that's like the issue that they're kind of also kind of running into right now um uh, is that what you possess they don't possess what they possess you don't possess so that's furthermore causing this empress a lot of confusion as to where they basically want to be um not only that they have history with you they don't have history with this one so if they were to leave you and go off with this one there is no damn telling if the grass technically speaking is going to be green on the other side or not unless they take that leap of faith but their whole thing is they don't want to take that leap of faith they want to figure out What's going to happen if they were to go off and pursue um, this King of Pentacles over here? Um, is it going to, you know, play on their favor? Is it going to blow up in their face? Should they just continue to kind of stay with you and try to make it work? Or are they just kind of better off with this King? So then there's that. But again, it's like, I guess the struggle is definitely real on this Empress's behalf because they can only... They can only do so much when it comes down to this new relationship because you're kind of in the picture. So it's kind of hard for them to kind of like navigate i would say building a relationship with this one getting to know this one while you're kind of in the equation you know it's kind of hard for them i would say but anyways um how does this person currently feel we have the empress we got the two of wands and then we have the hangman yeah this 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 empress needs to make a decision but right now, two of wands, it represents somebody who's very indecisive. Right now, they're very, very indecisive of where they basically want to be. Where they basically want to be. They know, though, that they could have something serious with this King of Pentacles because they know this King of Pentacles is serious about them. But that's not the problem. You know what I mean? Their problem is, like, but what if the grass isn't green on the other side? What if I am throwing a, you know, a really good thing away? Then what? You know what I mean? That is their whole MO. Let's jump back over to you, though. Okay, cancer. Okay, the other page is sorted. You got the seven oh one. Okay, page of 
Page of Swords, Seven of Wands. I feel like you're talking yourself out of doing something. You're talking yourself out. This, this feels like self-talk coming from you. You're talking yourself out of doing something. Now, Page of Swords, I'm pretty sure if you guys have watched Tarot for many, many years, you guys know Page of Swords basically represents like the, like the spy card. Um, for some of you, you could very well be thinking, you know, to go as far as to, you know, try to spy on them, see, you know, if you see them with somebody else. Um, you might even go as far as to like look through their phone, but whatever it is that you're thinking about doing to get the answers that you basically want, which is, are they doing something behind my back or are they not doing something behind my back? Um, whatever it is that you're thinking about doing, you're talking yourself out of it. Like, no, let me not do that. That's fucking crazy. I'm not going to fucking spy on them. That's crazy. I'm not going to look through their phone. That's crazy. You know, I'm not going to do all of that. Okay. Um, what actions will Cancer take towards this person or moving forward? It's like you're starting to become even more suspicious of them the more we look into you. It's like you're already fucking suspicious of this person over here. And with the Five of Swords, because I told you, with the Three of Swords to the Two of Swords, that creates a Five of Swords at play. This is telling me that you're starting to become even more suspicious of this person. But it's interesting because, how do I say this? How do I say this? It's like you're portraying this image to this empress, like you're not suspicious of them, but you are, but you are. It's like, dude, listen, I don't see you confronting them. What? So I don't, for the life of me, I don't see you confronting them when it comes down to what you're sensing and what you're feeling. You're not confronting them on this. It's like you're choosing to kind of like play it cool and just kind of keep it to yourself and act normal. You know what I mean? But your suspicion of them is starting to grow and grow and grow and grow. <sighs> okay. Um, tell me more about the five. Let me shuffle this. Tell me more about the five of swords. I was not expecting that from you, Cancer. I was not expecting that from you. There's this freaking song. It, it came to me and it left, but for the life of me, it's an old ass song, and I honestly don't. I don't even know who freaking sings this freaking song. Um, I know that it's something along the lines of like, I don't want to know if you're playing me, keep it on the low. Because my heart just can't take it anymore. Um, I just don't know who sings that freaking song for the life of me. But anyways. <sighs> Listen. Your suspicion of this person over here. It's starting to grow and grow and grow and grow. <sighs> I just feel like. I, ju I just feel like you're too scared to. Do your research and do your digging because of what you might discover and how it could potentially make you feel. Basically. It's like, uh, you're just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Cancer. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it's like, yes, your suspicion of them is growing. They're starting to act shady. They're starting to act funny. They're starting to act weird. You're noticing this and you're just like, all right. I mean, the phone is right fucking there. You know what I mean? I could look through it. I could look through it and it could give me all the answers, you know, that I'm looking for. But I'm not going to do it. That's fucking crazy. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Maybe I'm tripping. You know what I mean? I don't... I, listen, at this point, Cancer, I don't, I don't feel like it's a case of you tripping. I feel like it's a case of... You not wanting to kind of do your digging and research because you might stumble across something that's going to confirm your suspicion of this empress and what they've been doing behind your back. 
what actions will this empress take towards um this uh, okay e e oh lord 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 all right let's do this yeah the king of swords you got oh jesus christ okay i knew it there, there is no way in hell. There is no way in hell that this king knows about you. And there's no way in hell that you know about this king. Y'all don't know about each other, honey. Y'all don't know about each other. Y'all don't know about each other. And this is why I was saying that, like, this empress, man, they find themselves in the only predicament, right? Because it's like, as much as they really want to get to know this king just to kind of see what they're about, what they bring to the table, if this is, you know, somebody we're pursuing or not. It's kind of hard for them to kind of do that because technically speaking, you're kind of in the picture, right? So they kind of have to navigate around you, right? And your schedule um, to make time for this one over here. But see, this is the thing is that this king doesn't fucking know about you. This king doesn't know about you. So they're pushing for things to happen here between, you know, them and this empress. Like, yo, like we should, we should... We should take a mini vacate together. This empress can't take no damn mini vacate with them. Not with you in the picture. They cannot do that. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's like they feel like the hangman. Like their hands are kind of tied. There's only so much that this empress can do with this king because you're in the picture. So no, they can't take no damn mini vacate with this king of swords because you're in the picture. You know, it's crazy because you know what's fucking crazy, right? Is that this empress, it's like they're trying to like, do all of this on the down low, right? They're trying to do all of this on the down low and they're trying to come off uh, like they're not up to, no, you know, like they're not doing anything that they shouldn't be doing. But you, my friend, you're showing up as an emperor. You're all of the kings in one. So with that being said, you're also technically speaking the king of cups. King of cups is somebody who's very fucking intuitive, very intuitive. They're also known for having psychic abilities, okay? So with that being said, with that being said, because you guys are showing up as a true pair to one another, not only are you intuitive, you know this one over here like the back of your damn hand. You know them well enough to know if something's, you know, not right here. You know what I mean? So with, with, with that being said, you already kind of know roughly what's up. You're just too afraid to find out because of how it could potentially make you feel, right? It could potentially make you feel extremely devastated hurt betrayed deceived by them it could cause you to kind of go down a road of depression and it's not something that you want to experience it's not something that you want to sign yourself up for so to avoid all of that let me not look through that damn phone let me not follow them around and see what the hell they're doing let me not even bother you know it's it's coming from that place so let's look at this king and i'm gonna break this energy down in a minute but let's look at this king Okay, okay, okay. We got the Knight of Wands. We got the Six of Cups. We also have the Seven of Cups to the full. These two are obviously not in a committed relationship, by the way. If that was like a question that you had, these two are not in a committed relationship with one another. They can't. They can't be in a committed relationship with them because, you know, you're in the picture. Um... Now, let's talk about this king real quick, okay? Now, I'm going to be real. This king is definitely exploring their options. They're definitely entertaining other people. Now, these other people that they're entertaining slash chit-chatting with aren't people that they foresee themselves having a future with or even wanting a future with, okay? Um, you know, this king is single. They can do whatever the hell they want. This empress, on the other hand, is definitely not single. It kind of looks like they're, you know, in a committed relationship with you. But back to the, 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 the energy, right? So they're definitely exploring their options. But if it's one thing that I will say is this, because this is initially what came to my mind when I saw this energy come out here for this king. If this empress were to ever call them and be like, yo, um, I want to see you. They will fucking drop every goddamn thing that they're doing to go see this empress over here. So yeah, they might have their options floating around them and stuff like that. And they may even be entertaining these options. But they would drop absolutely everything to go be with this one. Because this is the one that they want. This is the one that they want. They don't want all these extra ones floating around them. They want the empress. Which... I don't blame them. An empress is basically the total package. They're all the damn queens in one. So yeah, I don't blame them. 
I don't blame them. So then there's that, right? We have the King of Pentacles. We got the Three of Swords. And then we also have the Nine of Wands to the Four of Cups. And then we have the Ten of Swords. This King feels the exact same way that you feel. Can't emphasize that enough. They keep falling into this energy of like, man, like, I feel like something's up. I don't know what the hell it is about this Empress, but I feel like something's up. I feel like they're keeping something from me. This is kind of telling me that currently at the moment, their relationship is really good with one another. Like, they, they have a really good relationship. They do, but they can't help but to feel like, fuck, like, I just, I don't know what it is about this damn Empress. I feel like they're hiding something from me. I feel like they're keeping something from me. But this is what kills me about this individual, okay? It's like they're blaming their past for feeling the way that they feel. It's just, no, it's just because I got cheated on in my previous relationship and that's why I think that they're, you know, up to no good. Or you know what? The reason why I feel like something's not right is because I have a guilty conscience. That's, that's what it is. Because, again, you got to keep in mind that this king is exploring their options, they are entertaining other people as well as this empress at the exact same time because these two are not committed to one another they're not in a relationship so with that being said are they exploring their options while entertaining this empress absolutely without a shadow of a doubt i feel pretty damn confident to tell you that much but it's causing them to kind of feel like oh like maybe i feel like this empress is like exploring their options because i'm exploring my options so that's kind of why i feel the way that i feel you know i'll be honest I feel like this empress is going to get away. I'm going to be honest. I feel like this empress is going to really get away with uh, what they're doing here, to be honest. Because you're too afraid to even look through their phone to even find out. You're too afraid to follow them because, you know, uh, of how it could potentially make you feel if you were to find out. And it's not saying that that's how you're going to feel. Um, but a lot of you feel like if I were to find out that my empress is doing some shit behind my back, I'm going to feel like X, Y, and Z. And this is what you're trying to avoid from experiencing and also feeling. So you're not even going to bother to do your research or digging, right? Which is furthermore going to give them the freedom, um, the time, and all that stuff to do what they got to do with this king over here because you're not trying to do your digging or find out. Um, and see, with this king over here, they're blaming all of this on their past. I feel like this because of my past. And, you know, I feel like this because I'm actually low-key entertaining other people and that's why I think they're probably doing it. It's, it's because I have a fucking guilty conscience, right? Mm -mm. This empress is... They're, they're gonna... They're... Yeah, they... They're, they're gonna they're gonna get away with doing what they're doing they're gonna get away with it because this this king is not trying to do their digging and or research either and neither are you so they're gonna get away with what they're doing here i, I don't see them getting caught i i just i i don't foresee them getting caught by you or even by this king but i'll tell you this much y'all don't know of each other y'all don't know of each other mm -mm. it's no way it's no way what's gonna end up happening Oh. Hey, Cancer, you're killing me. We have the Eight of Cups to the Devil to the Seven of Swords to the Moon. This is you just becoming more and more and more and more and more suspicious of this Empress. It's getting worse, believe it or not. You go from the Nine of Swords to the Three of Swords to the Two of Swords, and then we drop to the Five of Swords to the Five of Cups. So your suspicion of them is growing. This, this energy of you feeling like, nah, something's up, something's up. It's growing and it's growing and it's growing and it's growing. And this, again, it's it's just it's just growing. Your suspicion of them is growing. And with the Seven of Cups to the Moon, that's still telling me, Cancer, that you still don't have any concrete evidence to pin this one to any crime. You don't. And it, it it's not because you can't. You know, pin, you, it's not like you can't find something to pin them to this crime that they're over here committing. You know, you totally can, but it would require you to, you know, I don't know, look through their phone, follow them around. But you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You do not want to do that because of how you think it's going to make you feel if you were to find out. If you were to find out, you know what I mean? Um... Tell me more about the moon. 
Yeah, and then, see, this is another thing. I'm about to say it really quickly here. Hold on. This is another thing, too, with you, Cancer, is that you're kind of in this energy. Because, okay, so Queen of Pentacles, right, is somebody who's very big on commitment, but also very, very big on loyalty. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is basically the opposite. You know, it's somebody who is only loyal to themselves. They're not loyal to anybody else. They're loyal to themselves, right? So, with that being said, you're looking at them like, nah, like they would never play me. They would never do this to me. They would never do that to me. And listen, one thing that I will say, because I, I say this a lot, you know, Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's very big on commitment, but also very, very big on loyalty. It is very rare for me to basically see a Queen of Pentacles, hell, even an Empress do something like this. It's very rare for me to see this, like very freaking rare. Um, I think that I've probably maybe seen this throughout the course of me doing tarot, probably like maybe like four times that's how rare it is um typically uh we tend to see this happen with like you know a queen of wands or like a queen of swords never like a queen of pentacles or hell even an empress it's just very rare it's very fucking rare because they are very big on commitment they are very very big on loyalty um it's so rare for me to see this but i mean it's 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 here it's here if this person was very committed and devoted to you, I would have just said that. But I'm going to be honest, not with, with the cards that they're getting, I can't sit here and, and tell you that because I would basically be lying to you. I don't I don't feel like this person is committed and devoted to you like you think they are. But you're looking at them like, nah, like they would never do me dirty. They would never do me wrong. They're so loyal to me and committed to me and devoted to me. Hell, they're even crazy about me. Like, you know what I mean? But this is you just, sorry, I'm sorry. This is you just trying to like, Tell yourself whatever it is that you possibly can to make yourself feel at ease. You know what I mean? But your your suspicion of this person is growing. That's not going to stop. You know what I mean? Because your intuition is telling you, yo, something ain't right. Something's not right. Something's not right. Something's not right. And that's the thing that I love about like um, intuition, right? If intuition had a freaking zodiac sign, it would hands down be... Uh, Aquarius for sure. Um, but anyways, your your intuition, right, is the one thing that will never lie to you. It's the one thing that will never betray you and or deceive you. Your mind, your heart, yeah, those two things are very capable of deceiving you, but your intuition never will deceive you, never. Uh, so with, with that being said, your intuition is telling you, yo, something ain't right. Um, and, and with that being said, this is you choosing to ignore it as much as you possibly can, all right? Um, and this is you also kind of having a lot of self-talk with yourself. Nah, like they're loyal to me. They would never do me like this. They would never do me like that, right? So with that being said, it's like the more you sit here and try to comfort yourself with these self-talks, like nah, they wouldn't do me like this. They wouldn't do me like that. Your suspicion is going to continue to grow because at the end of the day, your intuition doesn't care how cute this person is to the right of me. They don't care how much money they make. They don't care how much time you spent with them. They don't care about how much you want to be with them and how much you want. Your intuition doesn't care about all of that. Your intuition is here to guide you and protect you. And sometimes your intuition is going to tell you shit you don't want to hear. And in this case, it kind of looks like that's exactly what's happening. Your intuition is telling you something you do not want to hear um, about this person. And that's just kind of what it all boils down to, you know. That's kind of what it all boils down to. And a lot of you feel like you're tripping. A lot of you feel like you're tripping right now, but you're not tripping. That's the thing. You're not, you're not tripping. Um, I just kind of feel like they are, for the most part, up to no good. Let's see. What's going to end up happening between this empress and this uh, king over here? Do, 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 do. Oh, okay, so we have the seven of wands, we have the ten of swords, we got the two of cups, we got the four of swords, and then we also have the eight of cups. So in regards to what's going to happen here between these two, this king is going to turn around and try to push for more out of them in this connection that they, they share here with one another. The thing is, is that this empress uh, won't be able to kind of uh, give them more than what they're currently giving them because you're in the picture. They can only do so much. 
um, it is basically what I'm getting. I also kind of feel like they're going to hit them with some type of excuse, like, you know, but you got to remember, I just got out of a marriage, I just got out of a relationship, and I need time to heal, and I need time to grieve the loss of that relationship, and they're just kind of hitting them with, with an excuse to basically buy time, uh, but in the meantime, um, it kind of looks like this empress is going to try to, like, um, it kind of looks like this empress is going to try um, to really get to know this person, to really figure out if that is who they want to be with um, or not. It's basically what I'm getting. But the more I look into the situation, the more I'm starting to kind of realize that this empress is not going to really get caught by you or by this other human. They're not going to end up getting caught because it's like everybody feels it. You know, you feel it. This other king feels it. It's like everybody feels like, yo, something's just up about this, this freaking queen this freaking empress something's up like i don't know what it is can't put my finger on it but something's up something's up and the problem is is that neither one of you are even bothering to do your research or do your digging and you have your reasons as to why you don't want to and they have their reasons as to why they don't want to um and because you guys are like avoiding uh from fully you know going there as far as like looking through their phone following them around um the both of you will basically be in the dark about what this empress is really doing. So that's what I have. Long reading. Um, but yeah, that's what I have. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.